Hello everyone, and welcome back to A Matter of Chaos. I am Boom Badger, and we are going to be continuing this nice nor noir, however you pronounce it, fantasy points and click detective game. I forget where we are exactly. Oh right, we're going to investigate Daphne. <coughs> the door. The door is locked. I had the right tool, probably. A paper knife will work. Nope. Okay. How does that work? I was just blindly clicking. Okay. Okay, the lock is gone. Alas, the tooth is gone too. Farewell, my friend. Whatever works, man. So, there's a fight, as you can see in the pixelated mess. The glass shards tell me something. Between them and the carpet must be something. My senses are sure of this, but it must be too small to be seen on this way. Okay, we take this and do this. What is this? A bizarre fragment of organic matter which I cannot identify even with my powers. <coughs> something alive, however. Oh god, I'm very hoarse. Something alive, however, I'm sure of it. Must be from a different plane. It seems that Daphne defended herself well. Whatever attacked. She managed to hurt it. Good girl, I'm beginning to like her. It's time to ask for some help from my old friend, Dr. Mephitis. Why do you have to use names like this? He's got a well-equipped lab and owes me a favor or two. Let's go. I honestly think we should probably look at the other stuff first. This wallpaper has something off about it. The good news is it's something subtle. Only talented beings like me could notice it. The bad news is I need something to remove it. Something sharp enough to cut it. Well, gosh darn, isn't it good we have a paper knife? You know, I love to cut wallpapers. Strange, eh? Hey, that there is a hiding place. There's something inside, something shiny. Very strange. There's a necklace and a key. The necklace is very peculiar. It looks like a cult symbol of sort. I think my old friend, Dr. Mephitis, could help me identify it, him being an expert on these obscure matters and all. So, relationship drama with a mob boss, it seems. What on earth is that thing? He ugly. Mr. Gilbert, it's been a while since you last dropped by. What may I do for you? Doctor, you remember those papers you said you owe me? I want to cash one of those in. Let's go with the tissue shred first because that's like biological matter. My chair is slowly going down for no reason whatsoever. Why is my life awful? Okay, just give me some time. Come back later and I'll tell you what this is. Boy. Doctor, you remember those favors? Blah, 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 blah. And the necklace. Okay. I have notes. It's the crematory a burning furnace. Very hot flames. Maybe we could use it to distract the doctor. Why do I have to distract it? screen just flashed blank for some reason. It could surely be useful, but the doctor would see me sadly. He's immune to my distraction powers. If there was, I must find a way to distract him somehow. Up 
for him peanuts or something? None of this makes sense at all. So, I have to get that, I have to distract him to get it, but I have to use the crematory, burning furnace, very hot flames, maybe I can use the distract the doctor. How would I use a furnace without setting something on fire? And I have nothing in my inventory that could help with that, and I can't touch that yet. So is there something I have to get somewhere else? Oh, who's that? Gang of yuppies. Hey guys, are you going to enter? Yeah, that one's vomiting. I think. Yeah. He's drunk. They're clearly already drunk, drunk and annoying yuppies. I feel the sudden urge to hit them with my dark powers, but I'm a professional, so I know how to hold back. Oh yeah, dude, you want to come in too? They begin to laugh. Don't hurt them, Gilbert. Keep your cool. Well, yes, I'd like to. Could you help me? No, not much, I mean. One of them looks around confused and sniffs something and begins to laugh again, and then the other speaks. We're not on the list. We're waiting for our friend. He's the big one on the list. He has money. We like him. We like his money more, blurts out the drunken girl. Or is it a boy? Oh no, I fear it's an elf. That is... Yeah. Right. And your rich friends isn't here. Oh no, he's... He's... One of them lights up. He's in the back alley, throwing up. Too much booze. Poor him. One day, I promise, I will hit them. What? Oh. Okay. I guess. There he is, over in the corner. The, this boy isn't alright at all. The alcohol is only the last, well, almost the last of his problems. I sense fear and despair in his heart. Hey, are you alright? You look troubled. Who are you? He throws up, then looks at me. I'm Mr. Gilbert, and you are? Not your business. Now leave me alone. After a moment, some words surface on his mind and his lips. Words my mind can sense. Where are you, Daphne? I understand I'll be able to talk to him unless I grab his attention with something. I have Daphne's photo. Do you happen to know this girl? The guy's eyes are now wide open. It's Daphne, how did you get this photo? And why are you looking for her? So you know her, and I think you're a friend, right? Yes, she's my friend. Why are you looking for her? Her family hired me to find her. They're worried. Any help you can give me would be useful. How do you know her? He trusts me, I'm sure. I met her a year ago. We easily became good friends. My name is Mobbit Cross, and yours, you said it was Gilbert, right? What kind of relationship did you have with Daphne, Mobbit? He smiles bitterly. We were just very good friends, nothing more. I like her, but we were never more than friends. She is so sweet, always kind to everyone. And you aren't the only one to say so. I begin to think she's a really good person. Also, I really begin to hope she's really still alive. Go on, Mobbit. She always had the right words for me, and always managed to cheer me up. But some days ago, she was nowhere to be found. I asked around, but nobody wanted to tell me where she was. I gave a lot of money to that stupid bouncer, Molestia, only to know that no one knows where she may be. But I know her well enough to know she wouldn't vanish like this, 
if not for something very serious. Listen to me, Mobbit. I'm very good at my job. If you help me get inside, I assure you will find something out. Someone thinks I'm my maybe the owner, Little Big Bug, knows something. Help me and I'll find out. Okay, you convinced me, mister. I really want you to find her and save her. Anything I can do, let's go. I'll talk to Molestia. That one's still angry. I have this flashingness. You again, Mr. Pink? Hey, Bouncer, let me and my friends in. Oh, sorry, Miss Cross. I didn't see you. Please, please come in. Hey, where are you going, Mr. Tentacles? He's with me. Any problem? Er, no, of course not, Mr. Cross. Your friends are all welcome here. Please enjoy your night. He gives me a really bad look. And you, try not to make any trouble, okay? I'll try. The bouncer stands aside, opening the door for us. Ah, rich friends, they're always great. Peanuts. What's with peanuts? Is that gonna be a recurring theme throughout this game? So the yuppies, old alcoholic peanuts, there's a little bit of big bog, and Trixel. Let's go with the bar girl first. Hello, Mr. I'm Trixel. How may I serve you? Do you know about Daphne? She works here. She seems uncomfortable with the question. Why do you ask? Hmm. I'm trying to think two steps ahead. go with the better answer. She seems uncertain. That's probably not the right one. She seems uncertain. Well, yes, I know her, but tonight she's not here. I'm sorry. But could you tell me something about her? Is she alright? Me and her family are very worried. We haven't heard news from her in months. I... Well, I'm not sure, you see. She seems very nervous, but, I look, but it looks like she wants really to say something. And in the end, she does. She's a very good girl. Too much of a good girl for a dirty city like this. As you probably know, she came here hoping to make it as a professional singer. Poor little thing. She ended up living in a rundown apartment like the rest of us and working here. She arranged her living dancing and serving here, but she couldn't make much money this way. Not like the others. What do you mean? You know the girls here are getting extra pay doing private dances if you catch my drift. But she didn't want to do that. She's very proud. She always refused. Other girls would have gotten into trouble, but not her. Everybody here likes her. I understand, but where is she now? I don't know. I'm really sorry, but... Really. I don't know. I think you're fine. So, she's a dancer but not the really bad kinds, the kind that's like, I really need money, this is the only thing I can do. So I'm going to do the bare minimum anyway. Let's go straight to the horse. Here we are, little big bog, the main suspect. Better keep a look. You're an octopus detective. Nothing about you is low profile. Hello, Mr. Gog. I am. I know who all who the, the, the I know all too well who you are, Mr. Gilbert. No one, no one enters my nightclub if I don't let them. You are private eye, but not one of the unwanted here. For now, what do you want in my nightclub? If you're looking for unfaithful husbands, better get out of here before someone snaps and breaks your hands. He stops taking a step to look at me. Well, your tentacles. I think it's not the case to approach him if I'm not sure of the right words to use. Better not risk my, well, tentacles. Nothing, Mr. Bog. I just wanted to say hello, Mr. Bog. I guess we're going with the alcoholic. I'd 
say he's an old alcoholic. Look at that face. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello, who are you? This guy is the drunkest person I have ever seen. Yeah. I'm a Will LBB's man, best man of kind of, what are you? He immediately loses his focus on me, instead takes a fist of peanuts in front of him and swallows them. I'm gonna give him back peanuts. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't eat food. What do you eat then? Don't talk to the yuppies. Got any news? Not yet. We'll don't lose any time. Daphne might need help. That is. More. Okay. That guy used to be one of the LVB's henchmen, but now he's kind of out of it. Oh, that's evident. Let's order something to drink. Let's don't drink. Goodness. What could you tell me of your boss, little big bug? She smiles. Not much, mister. But I can tell you he is much better than people think. So, he's not a dangerous man. Oh no, he's very dangerous. But only if you're stupid enough to make him angry. Otherwise, he can be very gentle. I like him. Maybe I should talk to him without making him angry. Well, let's talk to him without making him angry. Here we are, little big bog, blah blah blah. Okay, nothing different there. Hold on. We got stuff here. This is a good guy. Well, if you asked about the drunk guy, big bog one option with Daphne, so let's try with the owes me money option. She squint her eyes and contounts it. Maybe that wasn't the good choice of words. Nope, never heard of her. Okay. Are you any different? doesn't need baths. You don't need a bath? That's gross. Leads to the alley. Baths and the office door. We should probably go to the baths first. That's the window we saw and a used syringe. Probably gonna need it at some point. Closed from the inside. I have to escape. I can feel the area from here. The healthy of the scar Nagar. It still seems thirsty for blood. Oh, okay, that's a bathroom door. Okay. That'll probably lock me out. And office. It's locked, and I'm all out of lockpicks. But thanks to help with the separate door. Maybe I can use the needle. No. Oh, wait, maybe the key. See if I can figure something out. So, I went into my office trying to figure out what the heck is going on. And this came up, so something's about to happen. I'm about to enter in my office while my senses are trying to warn me something is not right. What? Unknown killer? That looks like a vampire. I guess it's still a killer. This guy was hidden in my office. As soon as I entered, he's behind me. A gun in his hands. The music is like hit him with the tentacles. Just power on the gun. Just power on his 
sort of just want to slap him with a whole bunch of tentacles. I try to hit him, but he's faster than my tentacles. He shoots me and I'm dead. Or not. Maybe there's a better way. Okay, I died. Mind power? I tried to hit him with my mind, but my dark powers, but crap, his mind is protected by some kind of seal. It's useless. And now he shoots me. I'm dead. Or not. I died. I guess I should go for the gun. Here we go, I can influence the gun, even if only in a subtle way. His gun is marked with obscure arts, so my, my mind can manipulate it. My mind can manipulate it somehow. How should I act? Block the trigger, manipulate the bullet's shell, make the weapon explode. We're gonna make it explode, because why not also explosions? I'm sorry, I'm not that powerful. The weapon doesn't explode. Instead, it shoots at me. God dang it. Gun. Well, if I doubt the bullet shell is. Well, maybe it's inscribed. Maybe it's some weird, like, Van Helsing type thing. It works! Well, darn. The gun jams, the trigger breaks, and the bullet falls on the floor. I don't think that's how it works, but okay. The thug, regardless, is fast. Dropping his broken gun, he pulls out a bone knife and tries to stab me. That's definitely not gonna work. Hit him with the oh my goodness. The jolt is strong enough, the knife falls on the floor, and my enemy is now unarmed. While I reach the weapon, he begins to retreat very fast. Good reflexes, you monster. But keep it your eyes wide open, we'll meet again. And goes away. Great, I felt the absence of a stereotypical foe. Well, at least he didn't make an evil laugh. Hey, he forgot something. A bone knife and a bullet. I suppose they might be useful somehow. Why don't you carry around a gun? So, obviously someone's out to get me. It's a bone knife. It's very sharp and dangerous looking. Made to kill and intimidate. Anything on the bullet? It's an explosive one. Why didn't the gun explode then? It should have exploded. You know you could have done that. It's an explosive one, which means that guy really wanted to kill me. Better to keep this away from a flame, or it could explode. A loudly explosion, I think. Oh, I know where to put this. The bullet burns quickly, generating a small explosion, nothing really showy, but enough to catch the dog's attention. What? What? What's that? Did you hear? Oh my, I hope my crematorium isn't broken. Let me take a look. I'll take that. I managed to take the narcotic just a second before to Doc turns or back around. Aha! A bullet fragment. Very strange. Maybe one of the corpses had it inside. Very, very strange. Well. Now I'm reassured. Let's get back to work, okay? I'm sorry, Doc, but I really need this right now. I swear it's an emergency. Now I just have to make the best use of this potion. I want to stab someone with it, with a syringe. Are you done yet? So, who do I stab with it? Do I stab the hellhound with it? Or... I don't want to stab it with a syringe. Okay. I don't want to put it to sleep. What are you talking about? Dreamy peanuts, that narcotic is very strong. I think they could put out an elephant to sleep. Am I putting the... Okay. Here we are. He's eating my special peanuts. One, two, three. Notice... May I left? What does that do anything? Okay, it looks like nobody's looking at me now. Let's see what you got, my friend. Here's some keys. I'm sure these open every door, including the one to look... LBB's office. Progress. 
Let the office go on inside. Desk much cleaner than mine, to be honest. And a register. And in an occult book. Okay. Let's go with the occult book first. It seems that little Big Vog has a thing for the occult. Looking at the parts he underlined, he must be very superstitious. Also, he strongly believes in hemom hemomancy, the art of reading the future through blood. Interesting. Okay. I think this register may be of help. Better not take it. LBB would notice its absence. Let's take a look. There you are, Daphne. It looks like you had a very poor wage, my darling. It has been two years since you began working here. If your ambition was to become a famous singer, I'm pretty sure you would have given up that dream by now. Anyway, no answer here. Stop flashing. Daphne... A whole bunch of information which I probably should read, but I'm not going to. I wonder if I can talk to him now that I know that he likes blood. Just stab him. Just stab myself. I prefer my blood inside my body. Oh, is it the key? this key? No. Okay. I've been using that to pick open locks for how long now, and it didn't work for a single one. But now, it works. Okay. Fall down a secret drawer. Let's see what's inside. In the drawer, there is a whiskey bottle and some letters. Love letters, it seems. Let me read them. Hey, these are love letters from LBB to Daphne. Who would have thought he'd be able to write something like this? Hmm. These letters are from a few months ago. He fell totally in love for this girl, to the point he offered her many, many chances to improve her life. He didn't even blackmail her. He asked her. There was even a letter from Daphne. Very interesting. Now I understand. He tried to woo her, but she refused his advances. The shocking thing is, even in her situation, she refused because she didn't love him the way that he, wait she didn't love him that way and didn't want to use him or at least that's what the letter says i can hardly believe it she could have gotten all that she wanted but somebody already told her told me she was is really proud anyway i can sense my feelings from these letters with my powers i can be certain of this lbb really really loves daphne no way could he have hurt her looks like i need lbb's help well, let's... It's close to 30 minutes. I think I'm going to end this for now. We've made some progress, despite the absolute confusion of this, mostly because I'm incompetent. But... Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'm going to do more anyway, because it's fun, and I enjoy it. But that stuff helps a lot so much. I'm incompetent, so if you want to see this incompetent fool continue this, do as I have asked. Or don't. That's your opinion. Not opinion. Choice. I'm tired. Thanks for watching.